which is amazing. Oh, I can't control it. Fuck, where did it go? Not only did it look immaculate, look at those frames, but it also followed up an already banging episode in episode five. Just when you thought they couldn't top Byakuya dying, you think it hurt? They give you quite possibly one of the best and most well animated fights this year in Head Ghost Nazi versus Hitler Christ. Hiroyuki Yamashita, the guy who did all your favorite Naruto fights, directed this episode perfectly when it came to the action, and when mixed in with the regular directing from the series thus far, we get some amazing action set pieces fit with the stellar angles and shots the show has been delivering thus far. It can only come to so much. Spending the effort to flesh out Uryu's role in this arc before the battle begins, clarifying some of the timeline to help his side of the story feel less undercooked, was a great touch. You think he gets homeless, PJs? But they wasted no time getting right into the action following right after it, with speed lines and repeated animation, which arguably still look good in previous episodes, being a thing of the past as you can follow their movements in relation to each other the entire time, and their insistence to still remain on model for the character designs during the battle gives the movements a lot more weight to them and makes everything feel that much more heavy and realistic, despite very clearly going for that slightly off model fluid animation of most great Naruto fights that's so goddamn cool it manages to blend the styles perfectly and that results in a fantastic fight all the way through that doesn't let up for a second while still managing to deliver on the story side of things what with displaying head ghost Nazi's absurd level of arrogance even during the battle where he quite literally mocks fake Christ for being weak only to then get absolutely styled on by true Christ while still maintaining sleek animation and stellar direction all throughout which is exactly how a proper fight should be handled oh he must know the Gundam guy <sighs> Bastard. The way Head Ghost Nazi chides Fake Christ for being flippant with the lies of his subordinates, as if he's not literally the exact same, and believing that his Bankai can't be stolen because he's hot shit, it's funny laugh, as well as his elitism and believing that Ghost Nazi lives matter more than Angel Nazis, makes it all the more satisfying when True Christ appears and trivializes him so utterly, not only cutting him down in a single blow, but it also comes right after telling him that his BFF Eisen was more important than him. Fuck, man. Up until that moment, Head Ghost Nazi fully believed he could end the invasion himself, and it's very possible that he could have had he had Orihime restore his arm, but he'd never rely on a filthy alivey as his entire character is used to illustrate and show how the Soul Society are a bunch of stubborn douchebags, and that the real bad guys of the show have been them the entire time, only becoming the good guys as people like Yamamoto are wiped out, and the rest are either shown the light by Strawberry, or have always known it like Shunsui. Join me. No, I fuck you then. Wait, you still a bitch. It's amazing that all that information can be packed in to an episode primarily about cool action and explosive flames, but that just goes to show how well Kubo's work is being adapted and how much the staff understands and knows how to enhance the source material. I may have an old man fetish. My only complaint about this episode, aside from some of the action not moving as fluidly as I would have liked, is that the music was rather lackluster. Sigisu's work on the OST is stellar, and this show is basically his baby, but whoever is in charge of choosing the music for each scene is absolutely defecating all over the show, as they seem to insist on not using older tracks from the previous anime, and even though Sagisu has developed like 50 plus new pieces, they still insist on continuing to use the same ones over and over again, even when they barely fit the scenes. Who got you smiling like that, dog? As much as I like the music, this has consistently been one of the show's weakest points since episode 3, and it doesn't seem like it'll change anytime soon, which is extremely unfortunate, if true. Fortunately, we did get to see the main character again, and this episode is not only one of the best to come from anime this year, but also anything to ever come from the original anime, to the point where it's actually kind of sad how bad it is in comparison, though it did have better music choices. As great as the fight was, it did use CG, which is something the original never did, but its usage here really accentuated the movements and feel that they were going for as a whole, I'd fuck a skeleton honestly, rather than being distracting and feeling cheap. The pacing is likewise damn near perfect, as ending on Head Ghost Nazi getting cut down was a perfect touch to generate more intrigue for the next episode, and I can only hope that it's even better than this one to cement Bleach as one of the best shonen alongside Fire Force and Iruma, but click here for another great show.